yes, this is exactly why people decided to start doing this, but it's not the best method. And I would say that a true magician and a true witch wouldn't actually be doing stuff like that. You don't see scriptures where Jesus, Muhammad, and the Buddha and Mary Magdalene all talking about how they was ejaculating all the time and that's how they'd manifest things. Like, it's just not in the scripture like that. <laughs> so what they did instead is they used their word and they used spells and they also used their vibrational state and the frequency that they were in so they were aware that we magnetize what we want into our life we are electromagnetic beings and so when you're full of life force energy and you're full of light you ascend higher up on the tree of life and your general vibration and frequency is higher which means that you attract the higher things into your life and so you attract the higher things into your life and you actually ascend onto higher timelines and ascend into higher planes after this life because you have kept your vibrational state high so when you fill yourself with life force energy and chi in the light then you lift and shift your vibration higher and the universe matches that vibration to your life and brings you things and people into your life of that high vibration if you were like casting spells and you're using your orgasm to do it, when you orgasm, you've given away your life force energy into the cosmos, so you are depleted instantly of your light and your life force energy. It's nutritionally taxing to the body, it releases a lot of nutrients, it releases a lot of feel-good chemicals, which then um, is is followed by a feeling really low and then people often chase the next high to get feeling good again so it's like starts this cycle of addiction there's a really good book that explains it all it's called the way of emotion by chris t so there's loads of reasons why it's better to try and save and keep your life force energy rather than expelling it out if you want to cast spells use your voice use your word like the power of the word is so powerful god created the cosmos through his word jesus christ's sword was his tongue is his word and they talk about the word of god or like the living word and it's all about the word and magic and power and manifesting and creating through spells and through your word and your intentions and stuff like that you don't need to give away your life force energy and nutritionally deplete your body in order to manifest and bring in what you want the most important thing is your energy and how full of light you are